Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. Um, I have been uh, sick, obviously, you guys know. Um, and I've been able to watch a lot more videos than usual. Uh, I try to watch as many of you guys as I can. Um, but sometimes life gets so busy, I'm lucky if I can pee during the day, honestly. Um, but I've been watching more videos and just been so inspired by you guys. So I decided... Uh, I, I've been watching Secret uh, Soto, Sigrid Soto, um, and I'm going to link her down below and she will be up in the iCard. Now, I'm going to have a video coming up explaining the iCards and all you guys ask me a lot. Um, it like if I put an iCard up on top, you push it and it opens up all the links I'm talking about. But I think you can only do that on your desktop computer. So those of you who have a desktop or a laptop, you can do that. Uh, the rest of you guys who watch on tablets and Xbox and TV and all that kind of stuff, you uh, have to click the link down below, which is in the description down below the video. Um, I will do a video uh, on those two things, but um, you know, it, that's kind of, that's just kind of how it works. So for those of you who know what the cards are, the iCards, uh, there'll be a link to secret up there as well as a few other links, a link to my daughter and that kind of thing. And then, um, for those of you who do not, are not on your desktop, uh, the links are down below. I hope that makes sense. That's a whole minute that you're not getting back in your life. So Secret has been playing around with CDs and DVDs, which I love watching her do this. I It has inspired me for so many different things that I want to do, um, which I will have coming up, but it all stems from her. Um, this is not my original idea. Honestly, I don't know if, I don't think she saw it from somebody else. Um, but her information's down below. Go check her out. Give her some love. Uh, yeah. So what she did is she has a CD and this is a CDR from Memorex. Apparently there are, um, there are a different kind of CDs. Some, the foil doesn't come off and she shows you what to do, uh, in, if you have one of those, this one, happens to peel off. It looks like, so she takes this CD. I got this from Dave. I made sure it wasn't anything that we needed <laughs> and, a, and a sharp tool. I have this. I mean, you really can use, you want to kind of scrape it, you know, off and it'll come in pieces. Um, but she also shows you what she uses. So anyway, you can get it off. I just have this thing right here and I'm just kind of going in with the point and I'm just going to chip it off. Right. And I mean, this is a great way to recycle CDs and movies and, you know, all different kinds of things. I know there's a lot of CD and DVD art out there. So now I don't know if it's easier to cut this before you do this or not, but boy, if you could get, I think now that I'm thinking about it, excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Ugh. Um, she got these off in pieces and got these delicious little sparkles on th that are on this side, but you can't take off this side. So she, she must be a master at taking these off. Um, I'm not, <laughs> I am not. And patience is not, um, a virtue of mine. I have no patience. Okay. That little piece come off in one, but you see like how it's, Look how shiny it is. Like that'd be great to put in mixed media, boy, all these little crumbles just to put it in like, um, like mica powder or mica pieces or whatever, glitter, whatever you want to call it. Okay. All right. I'm not going to sit and take the whole pieces off. I'm just going to kind of get this piece and cut it here. Come on, baby. I wonder if I do it this way. There we go. I kind of want to scrape it. I should grab my knife that I used to, that Dave uses for caulk and all that stuff to scrape. This is so enjoyable. I'll tell you what, you put your music on and just sit and, and play like this, you know, I could see I'm scratching it somewhat though. I don't know if that's cool or not, but we shall see. All right. So I'm getting these off now and we'll get the easier door towards the end. Okay. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay. All right. 
I think that'll be, that'll be good enough. Oh, look, I'm getting it. Look, oh, I got a big piece again. Oh, I don't know why I get so excited. Look how iridescent. Oh, I might have to do something with that. Let me try one more. This is why I don't do a lot on camera because <gasps> another piece. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious. <gasps> this is the excitement for the day. Oh, I just went into my thing, but oh, I don't know why. It's like peeling nail polish off. Matter of fact, I have a tip for nail polish. I'm going to, I'll talk about it in my next vlog. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Come here, friend. Don't stick back down. I'm putting it in the pile. Look at that. Come on, CD gods. Give mommy another piece. <gasps> Look at that. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. I think, I think we're getting it off and off here. Okay. So what I'm going to do... Leave those bigger pieces. Just give this a wipe so I can kind of see where I'm at. Get these out of my way. I'm gonna wipe this off because these will stick, like the pieces will stick back on. Obviously, it's like a saran wrap, plastic wrap. That's what it feels like. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I just, I get excited. I know I don't have these parts off. I mean, I, I guess I mean, it comes off easy enough. As you can see, just, I guess I should show you the whole thing. Just, okay. Now what I'm going to do, I know that she was using alcohol ink and, um, that's fantastic to use. And um, if you don't have alcohol ink, you sure can make it yourself and get a similar faux alcohol ink, ink look. All right, I'm going to just wipe this off again to see where we're at. Okay, come on, Peace. You're not even on the right side. Get down. There we go. See how, like, it's really, like, sticky because of the static. Okay, that's all we're going to do today. You're going to go there now. Something else that you can use on these, let me grab it, see if I can grab it, is uh, multi-surface paint. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use my pink and blue here. Pink, yeah, let's do pink and blue. And let me find, I just had it here. Let's do the blues here. All right. Okay. And of course, you know, I'm going to experiment um, on these as well. <laughs> okay, falling, falling. Okay, dizzy. Okay, I think I got it. Good gods in heaven. Okay, so I'm going to experiment a little bit. Um, but, of course, like I said, check out Secret. She has great ways to do it. She cuts them. I don't know if I'm going to cut it yet. I can't recall at this moment whether she cuts it first or... Um, Cuts it first or after. So, okay. All right. So, we got this. So, you can see now it's clear. That CD is clear. So, it's not going to matter pretty much what side I use. Um, this side has a few little things stuck on it. And I could really clean. I think she cleaned hers with alcohol to get all that off. I just don't, I'm not going to do it. And I don't care a little bit of the, just adds a little bit of texture. Okay. So I'm going to do half with this delicious uh, Mod Podge uh, sheer pink. It's like transparent uh, for glass and uh, all kinds of stuff. So it's a water-based sealer, glue and finish color for glass, wood, paper. So you can use this in any capacity. I'm using it on here. So of course I always go light to dark. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to squirt it there and I'm going to see if I can work off of that. Now, here's the thing. 
Um, I don't care if it picks up a little bit of these goodies, right? Because that's just going to add a little something, something in there. Um, I am going to use my, where's my, my stencil brush. This is a uh, plaid premium stencil, stencil brush, five eighths inch. And I'm going to rip that off. Come on now, friend. Oh, preparation, Kelly, preparation. Okay. So you can see real nice. I'm not going to wet it. I'm just going to kind of go like this and I'm going in and I want, I want this to be somewhat textured. Now we'll do half of it clear, half of it textured. So let's see what this does. And like I said, I want that texture because I'm going to go over it with some of that blue. So I really want this dry and let's see what happens. I don't know. Oh, we could put glitter in there because when we turn it over, you see how you see that underneath? It's kind of hard to see yet, but I'm going to put a little bit more of this. I love playing around and experimenting because it just opens up so many ideas. Okay. So you see how that looks now. Gosh, I hate wasting that, but I'm not going to waste it. I'll just wait. Now I'm going to take some of the blue and this is just sheer aqua. It's called shook it a little bit, put it there. It's beautiful. I'm going to take a little paintbrush and I'm going in and I'm just going to paint it straight on because I want to see, well, I probably need a bigger brush than that. I want to see um, what it looks like with both kind of ways, right? Yeah. Use a bigger brush. Cause these would be so cool to hang as decoration and you'll see like secret does. I think she makes a wall hanging with them or something. I can't recall right the second. I just, I was so amazed. I was just watching her and I was like, Oh, what a great way to recycle things. I am all for the recycling. All right. Okay. So one coat, maybe I'll put another coat. We'll see once that's dry. So I'm going to let these two dry. I'm going to put off my brush there for a second. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to rinse that one off and save that for the next side. Oh gosh, the glitter, the fun. Okay. Now, now I'm going to use, Oh, you know what would be fun. I don't think I have any here. Glitter glow. What do I do with my glitter glue? Yeah. Mod Podge Sparkle. Oh, the fun. All right. I'm just trying. I'm just experimenting. Okay. Shake it up, baby. Now I'm going to put my brush in there and I'm going to go like this. Oh, yeah. And this will then dry clear, but we will have Sparkle. Didn't leave much for the uh, other paint, but we'll get there. I'll just have to get another CD down the road. You know, like I always said to my husband, I'm like, we have any uh, blank like CDs or DVDs that grew apart? Oh, I got tons of them. He brings me one. I said, we, I thought we had tons. I don't know. I have to look. Here's one. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I love him, but sometimes. Okay. So that's going to dry now. A new obsession of mine. I, I've been doing this for quite a using these for quite a while, but these are uh, Ceramco Select multi surfaces. These are in satin, which means it's between it, it's between the matte and the um, glossy. So you get a nice. So I got two different colors here. Oh my god! And I'm gonna open them. And we're gonna try these. These go on any surface. These are fantastic. I love these. I have to get more of these. These are from Delta. Um, this is Navy blue and it says it's water-based use on glass, ceramic, wood, metal, rigid, plastic, fabric, <coughs> canvas, paper, terracotta, shake well, dry. Okay. So I'm going to shake this. I'm going to shake this light blue one and let's go in light to dark. Oh gosh. Okay. A little bit here. 
Now these, remember, they take a minute longer to dry. It's not the end of the world. It just takes another minute. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to put this in like this. I'm taking that all the way up. And look at that. Look how opaque. That is delicious. Now for the blue. Dry this off. And a little of the blue. Gonna blend that in there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at how that blends. So freaking good. <gasps> it's like ombre. I'm going to pee my pants with excitement. Okay. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. All right. So then I got that. So all I'm going to do very quickly is dry. Oh, I'm blowing my little pieces away. Oh, no. I'm just going to dry this real quick. That pink's already done, so I can go in with a little of the blue. So these take just a minute more than the regular acrylics, the flat matte acrylics. Now I'm wondering, will this CD shrink if I put heat on it? Will it blow up? What will it do? I don't know. I'll have to play around with that too. I'll have to see if Secret has a video because she has like a handful of videos. I didn't get to watch all of them. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Let me just poke this right here. It's still, it's still hard, so. Okay. Well, let me turn this over. Ooh, look. Let me move back a little bit. I don't know why it's so weird looking up. It's close. Look how pretty. You got the ombre of the blues over there, right? Because you got like the light one and then it mixed with the blue and that. And look at the sparkles. That would be beautiful like for to make ornaments. Oh, that's a great idea. And then here's the transparent. Don't know how well you could see this. Looks better with on um, white. See the white and the blues over here? Just, just, it's just a little bit. You see it better in life, but let's... Let's see what we can do uh, to make that a little bit darker. So I'm gonna put more pink on, I'm just going on. I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker on this side. A little bit more. Okay. I love this. Oh gosh, I could do the whole, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it ombre all around another one. If I can break a CD from my husband's hands. All right, hopefully that second coat will really enhance the color. So we have that. Then how about some of this blue? Wipe some of that pink off. I'm not going in with water. I just wiped it off on my towel sitting here. And I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna add a little of the texture on here too. And then kinda, that probably need a different one. just put another coat because I want it to be straight on there too so you guys can see like if you just want to paint it on right and I don't have to repaint any of the acrylic paint you can see how beautiful that is but this might need another coat and then I'm going to put it over this because that's dry so I want to see if this comes through at all like what it does, putting another color on top. Okay. I think I might leave some of the strokes in there too for texture. And then, you know what I think I might do? I might take this ceramic coat light, it's ceramic coat select in um, soft blue. So I'm just gonna put a little bit down I'm just going to mix it with my Mod Podge. I want to see what this does. If this makes this any more transparent, since 
and I'm going to go right over the glitter part. And let's see if that paint helps. bring any of that out. Okay. Everything dries fairly quick, which is enjoyable. I'll put that over. Okay. So now I'm going to dry it one last time. See which technique was the best. The best and the worst. Now you can sprinkle glitter down, you can mix glitter uh, or put glitter glue, you know, on your paint or on the CD first. I mean, think about the fun. Little beads, and then you can hang beads from this. All right, that, uh, the sheer uh, Mod Podge dry so fast. It's, oh, shoot, it's delicious. Sorry, knocking stuff over. Am I bothering any of you guys because I'm sick? Because I got a couple emails saying not to sniff on camera. But I can't help it. I can either not do videos or I could sniff a little bit. Can't help it. I'm sick. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. Look at that. Look at the, look how pretty. Look at that. How pretty. And then there's the paints, the blue. Here's transparent blue over pink, which is really hard to see on camera. It's much easier to see in, um, in life. Maybe if I lay it like that. Yeah, there you go. That's better. So you can see the pink here with a little bit of the blue. I mean, just two, I'm sorry, that's blue right there. It's not supposed to be that. It's dry. I was like, what the heck is that? Um, this is this, the tapped on, stenciled on um, with our brush, our pink, and then we let that dry, and then we put another coat on top. Look how pretty that is. This is the pink dried and then the blue on top, which is still very pretty. This is the um, Ceramic Coat uh, Select Satin. This is the blue here that we did. And look how pretty the glitter. Look at that. I mean, look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, so nice. Okay. So I'm going to wipe this off. Get the majority because I am full of paint. Okay. So I'm going to do this. Now she cuts it. So here we go. So you see all the fun things so far we can do on this. I mean, this is a lot of fun. Now, let me just say, advice is make sure you get all these off, all this glass, uh, the plasticky stuff off everywhere, and make sure your place is very clean to work on because it sticks everywhere. And as you can see, it does kind of change a bit of the way it looks. I mean, this glitter, you can't, this is like out of sight, man. This is like, I can't wait to do a whole CD like that with that glitter. Yes, yes, glitter. Oh, I love glitter. Okay, so now let's cut it. So she cuts it in pieces. I'm just using scissors. Okay, it doesn't cut bad. Let's do a triangle, and that is the glittery piece. See? Look at that right there. And it's not glittering on the back because we put that blue on it, but look how pretty that blue goes through there. It's like a frosted, oh, it's delish. And I don't know how big to make these, so I'm just going to make them in pieces. Just to show you how easy it is to cut. Now, I told you my advice, go watch Secret, uh, do it, and what she's going to do with it. Um, these are just, I'm just in love. Can't wait to do more of these. I know 
I know I get hooked on weird things, but this I love. It's recycling them. It's uh, just having fun and adding your own gig to it, right? I mean, look at these, how cool. You can even put it on. Oh my God, I need a drink of water. I'm sorry. Okay, let's do this. Look how pretty that is. It is like sea glass. So you definitely can, you know, I mean, if you want to cut that little peep peep off, that's fine. And then just have that. But if you cut that peep peep off, let me see if I got enough strength today to cut it off. It won't be exactly what I'm wanting. Okay. But I cut it off. If you put it on your ATC card, draw a big haired girl or whatever kind of girl you want. And you can always cut this down, just cut it going there and there a little bit more if it's too big. And you have a dress for a little ATC girl card. What? I know. How exciting. It, I mean, yeah, you could do that. Or this could be her hair. Come on. Come on now. Give me high fives. High fives. Everybody high five. High five. Come on. All right. Just not a big boob girl here. I got, I got some, that's some ideas. Well, actually, I took the ideas from Secret, and now I'm just putting on an ATC card, but you know what I'm saying. So I'm like mixed media. You know, for those of you who don't have um, uh, modeling paste, uh, anything like that, um, you go to your dollar store or into your old movies or CDs, and you can make your own texture and pieces. That's what I'm going to use these for to show you guys. But let me show you these two real quick. Look how pretty. Oh yeah, caramba. But please, 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 look, this can be another hair already painted. Come on. In the ombre. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I love I I love this. I can't help it. But here's the thing. I didn't make this up. I didn't come up with this. I just happened to watch Secret Soda or Sigrid Soda. And Soda. And um I want you to go check her out, please. Uh, tell her Kelly sent you, please. If you don't already know who she is, I'm sure a lot of you know who she is. She's delicious. And um, tell her Kelly sent you. And I would love to see if you guys would try these out and what guy, what you guys are coming up with. I'm going to have a couple projects coming up with these. I'm going to go and watch more of Secrets videos to see what she does with them and um, see what she does. And uh, tag me, tag her on all the social media on Twitter and Facebook and, and Instagram and all that kind of stuff, tag her and I, so we can see what you guys do. I think this is fantastic. Um, well, I hope she lets you, I hope she don't mind you tagging her. I didn't ask her, but I kind of said tag her. So secret, if you watch this, please let me know down below. I know. I just, I love this. I love you secret. And that's it. So, Hey, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I apologize guys, uh, for, my videos maybe being a little lackluster. Um, still not feeling good. Still fighting this with, I, I don't know. It just seems forever and I'm exhausted. But I love coming on here and I love reading your comments and your emails and all and doing projects. So I love you guys. And share me around like I'm your best friend. Give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. And if you're not already, please subscribe. My little button down, it in the corner there, you can um, click it of this video, or you can click down below. It says subscribe here and you can click it. It'll take you to subscribe. I would love if you would do that. And oh, I love you guys. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.